Hello everybody. So it's been a couple of months since I last made a video showcasing my Rolling Stones collection. But since then my collection has exp expanded. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you my updated collection now. Now because I've got I've got a lot of stuff to show here so I won't go into too much detail about the albums or the CDs or anything so yeah, I don't, I don't want the video to be too long. So, first, England's newest hit makers. And yeah, I'm, I'm going chronological here. That's what I like to do. Twelve by five. Rolling Stones now. I like the design on that CD. <clears throat> Out of Our Heads, one of my favourite Stones albums. December's Children and Everybody's. <coughs> Aftermath, another favourite of mine. Between the buttons, another favourite, I think. And uh, I'm not going to be showing the booklet of all these CDs, but I'll show you this one because this one actually has some some artwork in it, some like cartoon drawings. So yeah, these were uh, this was drawn by Charlie Watts. Pretty impressive. Charlie Watts, as well as a great drummer, he was a—I think he was a really talented graphic artist as well. Yeah, and I believe on the on the on the vinyl release of this album, I think that's that's what was on the back cover. <coughs> it's nice that they included it in, inside the CD. Flowers. Compilation. And yeah, I've always loved that picture. It's very psychedelic, summer of love. And as you can see there, Brian Jones is the uh, is the only member of the Stones on here who doesn't have any petals on his flower. And I believe that was a prank that was pulled by by uh, Mick Jagger and uh, Keith Richards. I kind of get the the joke, to be honest. Although Brian Jones was a talented musician, <coughs> he wasn't he wasn't really the nicest of people. He was so yeah, they didn't put any petals on his flower because, you know, because he basically he's not a petal. I think that's what they, I think that's what they were what they were going for. But that's how I interpret it. Satanic Majesty's request. One of my favourites uh, gets a lot of shit. It really shouldn't. It's a fantastic album. Love that cover. And I don't see this as a rip-off or a copy of Sgt. Pepper. Because I don't think this is anything that... The Beatles definitely wouldn't have done anything as dark as this. <clears throat> Beggar's Banquet. Another favourite of mine. 
I have quite, I have several favourite Stones albums. It's, it's hard to, to pick one, but this is definitely one of my favourites. Well, of course, well, originally it didn't look like this. It didn't have the the toilet cover. It just had like the invitation cover. It basically looked like a, an envelope. Yeah, they wouldn't let them release it like this because they found that it was too offensive. It's just a fucking toilet. Let It Bleed. Another brilliant album. Another favourite of mine. I just love the cover. That cake looks delicious. And we've got Get Yaya's out. Live album. I've always been fascinated with this cover. It's, it's Charlie Watts and a donkey. On a, they're on a runway. Don't know what all that was about. <laughs> Classic album here, Sticky Fingers. Another favourite of mine. As I say, I'm probably going to say this about several of their albums. It's got so many great ones. Yes, sticky fingers. And we've got Hot Rocks compilation. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of compilation albums unless they they've got songs on them that weren't on studio albums. So like singles and B sides and. Stuff that was on EPs, stuff like you know, stuff like that. And this, of course, is a double album. I do like the cover as well. It's it's very iconic. The the silhouettes of all the the band members. And then there's the second volume, more Hot Rocks. Uh, I like that. That's that's very good. That's. This was actually originally an outtake photo from uh, Between the Buttons. It didn't look like that, obviously. They on here, they obviously uh, yeah, they I don't know what it's called. I think what it was they did to the picture. But. And this is also a, a double album. X on the Main Street, another fantastic album. Of course, this was a double album, but they fit it all on one CD. Goat's Head Soup. This one kind of has grown on me a bit, actually. It's, it's actually a good, it's a good album. <coughs> it's only rock and roll. Black and blue. I like these CD cases. They're pretty. They're pretty cool. Don't exactly know what they're called. <clears throat> Some girls. Another one of my absolute favourites. <clears throat> Emotional rescue. And I actually like the uh, the eighties stones. You know, I think I think a lot of it gets overlooked. I mean, I am partial to the sixties and seventies Rolling Stones, but the eighties and nineties stuff, I think it's it gets overlooked. I think people should should give should give give it a chance. Tattoo you. Probably their the best eighties album by the Stones. I think. Undercover. Don't like that cover very much, but it's actually a pretty good album. <clears throat> it's 
say the same about dirty work. The cover's not not brilliant, but I think there's some I think there's some gems on here. It's it, it really isn't a bad album. I think there's some absolute gems on that album. Got another compilation here, the singles collection. This is a three disc set. So it folds out like that. This is really good. This this has all the A and B sides <coughs> of the 60s. So it's a bit like the Beatles, Past Masters basically, except this doesn't have anything from the EPs. If you want to get like the the EP tracks that weren't on the albums, then you've got to get the, the Hot Rocks out albums for to get those. And then we've got Steel Wheels. Another live album, Flashpoint. There is a live album, but there's actually uh, two studio tracks on here, which are uh, High Wire and Sex Drive, which I think were uh, both released as a single. Voodoo Lounge, pretty overlooked album. I think this is their the best one they did in the nineties. Bridges to Babylon. The compilation, forty licks. So this was I think was this was released to to coincide with their 40th anniversary, so this was back in 2002. And yeah, they're celebrating their 60th anniversary this year. So I'm wondering if they're going to release another compilation. If it's got any new songs on it, then I'll probably get by it just for the new songs. But that's why I've got this, because this has, this has some new songs on it that were released for, that were for this release. <coughs> And bigger bang. And blue and lonesome. This is their their latest studio album. It's a covers album, but it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And the last one I have, well, the last CD I've got here, this is the Rolling Stones On Air. This is their uh, like BBC, this is like their BBC sessions from like 1963 to 1965. This is the two disc version. There is a single disc edition, which actually has an orange cover. But yeah, this is the two disc deluxe edition with a, with a second disc that has more tracks. Young photos of Mick and Keith there. I believe this photo was, yeah, the photos, I think these were from 1963. And you've got, got Charlie and Brian and Bill there. And the last thing I've got here, this is a DVD, a film. This is Stoned. This is the uh, the biopic about, um, about Brian Jones. It's basically about the uh, about the events that lead up to his uh, to his tragic death back in 1969. So yeah, it's mostly about his 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 like dr increasing drug use and uh, and then, yeah, he's basically he's he's forced to leave the band because of that. And then we all know what happens. He uh, yeah, about less than a month after he was fired from the Rolling Stones, he he drowned in his own swimming pool. But this is a really good movie. Very well acted. I like Leo Gregory who plays Brian Jones. She does a fantastic job. 
and uh, we've got Ben Whishaw as well. He plays uh, he plays Mick Jagger. Yeah, I enjoy, enjoyed this. It's one of my favourite biographical films. So that's my Rolling Stones collection. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, let me know what you what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you soon.